Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Dark Dreams Don't Die. I mean, we could save our process, our process, our progress, but I don't really want to. Uh, hmm. I wonder. Let me vision. Let me. Yeah, we're gonna turn the vision on. Grab the water there. This way, we could just. We have a couple things. Oh wait, these are all puzzle pieces. The front is a cherry blossom path, and snow is on the back. When did that change over? Oh right. Okay, so we have all the evidence then. Oh. I've collected all the puzzle pieces. The west side window. Be champagne as soon as we arrive in DC. I'm very sorry, sir. I don't know who you are. This freaking bubblegum, man. This piece of the past has been solved. Ah, uh, yeah. Glass Marshall, eye. Are you really sentimental enough to hold on to a pen that can't even write? Unexpected. Most unexpected. You seem quite different from the man I first imagined you to be. But that doesn't mean you're totally free from suspicion. Ooh. I told you the same uh, trick won't work God twice. Damn it. Although it's still the first time for you. Two of the same pens. The Fenway Park ticket was a used ticket. What? The seat cover pattern is cherry blossom and snow. What are you rambling about? And you have no pupils. The destination is in the other direction. The sun can be seen from the windows on the right side. In other words, the aircraft is flying south. Explain yourself clearly. I am David Young, a private detective who also collaborates with the BPD. Now you, Derek Buchanan, I consider you suspicious. If you are Just the puts it back now, in his pocket. You remain heavily involved in my investigation from now on. So let me give you this warning. I'll do whatever it takes to achieve my goal. I'll never give up. Even if it means I have to get in your way. So be ready for that. Oh, one other thing. Something I probably ought to mention. According to the BPD files, you get killed while transporting the courier known as Rabbit. Does that affect anything? I don't know. I doubt it. I think it's that it's so weird that we're able. Oh, is he gonna write about us? David Young requires investigation. I'm going to be killed. Rest in peace, Antonio David. Antonio Zapatero and Olivia Jones. They vanished right in front of my eyes. Literally, vanished. They didn't vanish at all. They were never on this flight. This isn't the AG Flight 117 of Boston. It's a different aircraft heading for Washington. In other words, <laughs> they didn't vanish. Stuck on there. I moved. It must have happened at that moment. I used the broken fountain pen to come further back in time. Is it still stuck on there, you think? Oh, what the heck is this? Can't feel dive. from either one anymore. David. Why do you shave your beard every day? It was just starting to grow out. It's such a waste. Little Peggy. Dude, I gotta look nice. I mean, I'm single now, right? I do. Oh, 
Uh, what the hell is this? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What the hell just happened there? It always feels weird because it always feels like it's the end of the game. But I think it's just the end of the episode. Not like the YouTube episode, like the end of episode one of Dark Dreams Don't Die. Took us an hour and a half of that. Mind Synchro was pathetic. Was pathetic. Calories ingested? Alcohol ingested? I could have drank alcohol? What? I'm a little bit sad that I didn't get to do that. Who the hell is this? I mean, not Teddy, the other guy, clearly. Whoever it is, Teddy doesn't look too happy to be seeing him. Dude, we're gonna go to the next episode. That's what we're gonna do right now. I didn't see you again this time either, little Peggy. A passenger simply vanishing from an aircraft Light. Does that sound possible to you? <sighs> Unbelievable. What are you doing here? Mm, this plane is going down! Fuck you with my big eye, weren't you? No more messing with this puppy! I'm locking this one out of the park! <gasps> Let him go! <gasps> Never talk to me again. Every time I'll break more than you watch. Damn it. <laughs> David. And we get the weird intro every this single time. Is a story of a man with a very strange fate. Hey, look. It's like I've grown wings. The fourth suspect. Ooh. Oh, that makes more sense. The owl feather. Uh, what? Wait, was that girl back then, little Peggy? Wait. Stay in character for best synchro rate score. I will try my hardest, sir. Oh no, is the ice gonna break again like last time? It looks like the exact same setup. Oh, it is. It's little, little Peggy. I'm David Young. Who are you? David? 
You're David? There's a spot-billed duck with her duckling over there. <laughs> Let's play with them. I don't think a grown-up should be playing with a little girl like you. The seat makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Investigates the past. So I was right. That is that is little little Peggy. It has to be. Alright, well. I think they're perhaps spy fiction. <gasps> Goodbye, balloon! Dude, we need some fucking clothes. That's what we need. Oh no! She knows me. Grab that. You don't look like what I imagined. I heard you were really cool looking. Whoa, are you saying yeah, that I'm not cool looking right now? That. It's kind of scary. Ah, <laughs> oh, the scene. I don't know why. It just makes me feel uncomfortable. Alright, well, let's quickly grab that little little badge right there. Grab that one as well. Goodbye! Alright, keep it moving, keep it moving. Grab that badge right there. I assume we're good, right? Wait, are all these ducks frozen? Wait, are they like frozen in time? Is that what this... Is this what I met? it's a metaphor for? Possibly, man. Okay. There we go. Move all this snow. Because that's going to make it any less colder. What are you doing here, David? Where is here, though? I'm looking for something. Yeah, something. So, what is it? A lead that will let me meet someone special one more time. A lead? What does it look like? Dude, this this bubble gum is just so weird. Oh. I don't know why. What will you do once you find it? I'm going to change the past. You can't change the past, David. <gasps> Little Peggy. You can't change the past. You do know that, don't you, David? No. I can do it. I'm going to change it. Time is always moving into the future. It's always been that way. But... You can't change the past. You just have to accept it. I belong to the past. I'm dead, David. No! I am dead. I am dead. I'm dead. Oh, dead. there it goes again. The ice is cracking. I am dead. Okay, buddy. We got it. We're back. We're back into present. Present time. It's always this way. When I'm diving into the past. And I fall asleep. I get knocked out. I end up back here. Are those like moving up like the water? I can't, it looked like it was moving up and down. I don't know why. That looked weird. Teddy. Teddy? Uh oh. Teddy! Is she sleeping? It's 
really gotten late. This belongs to the person who jumped me on the passenger flight. If this is a fragment of some sunglasses, then that narrows it down to only one suspect. Antonio? But is he really the type to use a stun gun? Wait, who has sunglasses? It's no good. The piece is unfitting. Little Peggy. Derek Buchanan, I guess, right? Huh? Antonio had like those weird sleeping Penny's glasses or sleep uh, masks on with the eyes. Uh, we're gonna go all. I, I gotta go see what's up here. Go to the kitchen. And... I want to see what's up with with Amanda. Hi, Amanda. Okay. My little shopper is still sleeping. <laughs> I'll leave her to her dreams. Okay. Rest well, Amanda. Rest well. What is this? An ancient stove. Dirty with soot. Suit? Soot? Ah, uh, yeah. That warmth, though. Oh. We literally just put that bubble gum in our mouth, though. Metal is tarnished. Bookshelf. Aw, oh, man. More sports magazines? Fuck off. I don't want to read sports right now. Oh, can we eat a Are these fortune cookies? Let's eat them. Just smash it. Who smashes it like that? Don't enjoy. So you can do what you do enjoy. Dude, that was We need we need to read more. One more. The reason rainy days depress you is because you only think about doing sunny day things. <laughs> I got to do one more. I just got to I wonder how many there are. There probably is like a shit ton, right? Treat yourself to something today. Oh, those lips are weird. All right, let's. I guess that's. Oh, we could grab a coffee. Vision <sighs> restored. There you go. The good old cup of Joe. All right, let's back up. Let's go back into the kitchen and take a look. Wait, that looks. Avocado, red pepper, a tequila shot. Ew, that looks gross. Can we not grab that? No, that's not what I wanted to do. I mean, cool, but that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. All right. Well, let's take a look here, but what we're going to do is we're going to actually end off this episode here. It feels like we're getting closer to the end. I'm not entirely certain how much longer we got, maybe like another episode or two, but regardless, I really hope you guys are enjoying this. I have no idea who the suspect is. It's it's just so bizarre, this game, and I'm still loving it, and I got to get down to the, the nitty gritty and find out who this D person is. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like because it does help a lot. And I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. Peace out, Girl Scouts.